Hi, in this video we will talk about how to create sunburst charts using the high charter library in R. So we'll be using these three packages, high charter, dplyr and gapminder. And this is the install script. If you don't have these packages installed, you can uncomment them and then run them. Now call those libraries. So calling the first library, which is responsible for creating the high charter charts. This library is to manage our data. And then we are going to use a sample data set, which is called Gapminder. And if I run these three packages, we are ready to plot our sunburst charts. Let's see what the Gapminder data contains. So the Gapminder data is about different countries and continents, and it gives you the population of that country. So in our data set, we will be making use of the continent, country, and the population. So let's prepare our data because this data set contains the data for different years. We just want to get whatever is the latest data in that. So that happens to be the year 2007. So if I run this command, we have 142 observations in our data set. So it contains the country, continent. The year is 2007, which was the maximum year available in the data set. So there's another trick to create the high charters charts. So you have to convert this data to a data to hierarchical. So our data set is Gapminder 2007, which we just created. And we're going to use continent and the country. And we're going to display the population or the numbers of uh, people. So if I run this, we get another data set, which is a list of 147 objects of 147 countries. And each country contains the name, ID, color, and the level. So this is the data which high charter uses to create the, the, the charts. So very basic chart, and it's all also a very simple chart. All you have to do is say H chart, provide the name of your data set, which you have already converted to the data to hierarchical. So using that data, and I'm saying the type of the chart should be the sunburst chart. So let's see what it does for us. It takes a bit of a time to uh, render the graph because the, the chart is referred as a HTML page and it takes a bit of um, a time to, to get the chart and it's an interactive chart. So you can see the charts are interactive. You can highlight each country here. So these are the countries which are in the continent Asia. So it's kind of a pie chart with two, two hierarchical levels. So you can see Europe and then all the countries under Europe. Similarly, Africa and all the countries under Africa. So it, it's a useful chart and provides two levels of, or multiple levels of um, information uh, at a glance. So more informative than a, a standard pie chart. Now let's start customizing our charts. You can do that by adding more customizations to them. So using a different syntax now. So PL3 is just the name of my chart. That could be anything. So starting with high chart. So we want to create a high chart and then piping it to the next line saying H chart, H underscore chart type is the sunburst chart, which was what we did there. And then we want to specify the title and then subtitle. And then we want to give the name to the series as well. So we want to call the name as, as population. So, and the data for that is coming from D out, which, are, which is our data, which we created there. So if I run PL3 and then try to print the object PL3 or the chart PL3, this is what we get. So it has customized the charts with the theme which we used as theme economist and giving the title, which is this, and the subtitle, and other changes which we said. So theme economist is plotted as well. So there's an accompaniment code sheet with this video. You can look for that in our description of the, of the YouTube video. And it actually shows you all the different themes which are available and how to combine 
the theme elements using one standard theme, you can combine or modify certain aspects of that as well. And lastly, how do you save this as static file so that you can show that in your presentation or in a Word document or a PowerPoint? So you need to convert this interactive chart into a static image. So you would need these two packages, HTML widgets, and then the web shot. So the first line, HTML widget creates, it uses the PL3 in this case. So I've actually called my object as PL3. And then I'm saying widget equals PL3 because this is the name of my chart which I just created. The chart object is PL3. And the file where I want to save the HTML file. So I'm saying save it on my D drive in the temp folder. And notice that double backslashes are to be given if you're using a Windows system. And then this line is only going to create HTML file using the web shot package. I'm saying the, the URL of my HTML page is this, which has this chart. And then I want to convert this into a PNG files. And this is the name of the file. So, and then I want to add a delay. The delay is added because the charts are rendered slowly. And if you happen to have a very small delay, or if you don't give a delay, half of your chart would be saved. And you can experiment by giving more delays if your charts are not saved completely. So let's run all these commands. So there is my image which has been created. So it's under my D drive. And the name of that file is sunburstchart.png, which we just created. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this information useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.